mountains about two hours drive north of Oslo. And uh, we're here to make a rock album. I have great expectations for this album. It's, uh, it's, as you said, it's the first album I make as a real solo artist, and, and where my solo work isn't just a side project, where it's where I get to put all my resources, all my songwriting, everything into one project. And I just want it to be as great as I can possibly make it. We're at our studio. Welcome. Let's go inside. This is a Studert tape recorder, 16 track, two inch tape. So it's the best sound quality known to man. These are our various uh, boxes that make special sounds, I think. This is our mixer, actually, but I don't know what we do with it, it's, but it's, it's, it's there, it's very expensive, come on. I think the songwriting is more mature and uh, gutsy and ballsy, I think. It's a big sounding album. It's gonna be a really great rock album if we, you know, if we don't fuck it up. <laughs> There's a lot of 70s inspiration on it, like uh, Richard Thompson albums from the 70s, Fairport Convention, The Who, I'm on Deal, some punk music as well. And there's a lot of different uh, inspiration, but they're all my inspirations. <laughs> Little sister, where to? Little sister, where to now? The melodies come to me pretty easily and arrangements, the lyrics take a long time to get right because you don't really have a, a song until you have a good lyric. It has to ring true in some kind of way. It's just important to me that it, it means something to me. And they all do now. This is the, the actual recording room. It's the living room. So this, but this is where we have our meals. This is the, this is the, the table. I think it's very important to have a good table when you're in a, a, a recording situation so you can sit down and talk and eat. And that's my guitar amplifier, 1969 Vox AC30, which I bought in, uh, in Hamburg. This is my main guitar. It's a 1972 Telecaster Custom, which I bought a couple of years back. This is a 1962 Gretsch, and it makes a very nice warm sound that really comes out and grabs you. I have a couple of acoustic guitars. I had this one especially made for me and has my name on it and some stars. We're kind of using the whole uh, cabin to make the sound. We have a, an echo chamber in the bathroom. We have a, a speaker out there and a, a microphone so we get the special uh, ambience of the, of the bathroom. Also I think this room it contributes to I think to the this kind of a dense, warm sounding, and, and I think that's, uh, that's special too. It's, it's not something you get in a professional studio. It was kind of hard in the beginning because we're basically building a studio in a place that's not suited for a studio. Um, it's been really great recording. There's a couple of songs that I, I really, I'm really enthusiastic about on the album. There's uh, Shadows which is kind of the big epic uh, on the album. If I was to fall into shadow I think that's the song everybody thinks it's a, it's a pretty impressive song. The sun goes down in a quiet seaside town Silently saying hello There's another one called Moon Landing. It's going to be the first single. It's just a really good rock tune, I think. It has a really strong uh, melody, and just a beautiful harmonic thing to it. Hold on, my enemy. If you got it in for me, it's just fog and fantasy. We come to some understanding. I'm going to make this. It's 
just really great to, to get out of the city and, and get up here and, uh, and get a different perspective on it and just uh, there's uh, all the camaraderie and, you know it's, it's just uh, really great and we're a very tight group now which is also a good thing with Norwegian bands there's always this feeling that uh, if you can go to London or New York, Los Angeles, uh, these places, you know, you can you kind of plug into that special atmosphere and all that history that these places have. And for some reason, it will make you sound really great. But I'm, and I've done that as well. Uh, but I, I thought uh, that by going here in a very modest way, that maybe we would kind of make our own history in a way. Uh, and that it would be kind of a Norwegian story. Uh, and I think that has, a, uh, that has a certain value, I think. Mm -hmm.